we made it you guys today is friday i hope that you all are excited and ready to finish our book for today uh let's get into it and open-minded scholar appreciates their own culture they're open to others and they are willing to grow i read aloud we have been reading the year at maple hill farm written and illustrated by alice and martin robinson so let's get into it October is a splendid month. The harvest is in and early frost did away with all the insects. October days are dry and bright, but still the wild birds are restless and begin to flock together. The hay is in the barn. The corn is in the crib. There's not much left to eat in the fields and the animals stay closer to the barnyard. The chickens go to roost earlier and not so many eggs are laid. The children gather pumpkins. The squirrels are gathering nuts filling their own storehouses with food. Soon the leaves will all be gone. At any moment, the migrant birds will rise and start their journey south. November, there's a frost nearly every night now. The, el sorry. the air smells of snow and winter. The first thin ice is forming on the farm time. The north wind blows, the bare branches rattle. The forest is far from quiet in November before the winter settles in. The woods around the farm echo the huntsman's horn, the hunting hounds bay. In November, before winter comes finally, a few of the animals leave the farm. Some are sold. The finest are borrowed by the neighbors for breeding. The wild geese honk as they pass by. The saw and the woodsmen are noisy too. A few ganders, a gander is a male goose, um, are sent along as gifts. Everyone likes ganders. You can't have too many ganders except in the barn through the winter. And then our last month is December. December is the first winter month. The ground is often covered with snow. Even though sometimes in Texas, we don't get a lot of snow, but we have seen patches of ice and a little bit of snow. The days are dark and cold and night falls early. Now is the time to be in the barn. There is hay and grain to eat. There are places to play or hide or dream. There are warm straw beds. December is the last month of the year. Now is the time to catch up on sleep. Everyone goes to bed earlier in the winter time. All right, boys and girls, that concludes our book. So on yesterday, you all did it was august and september so august says how do animals pass the time in the summer i picked a couple i said the sheep graze and graze all day and the cows doze away and then for september september says why do the animals have 
to take medicine. So the animals have to take medicine to stay healthy. All right, let's do October, November, and December. Quick question, why am I capitalizing all of our words, October, November, December? Do you guys remember from our writing lesson? Because they are months of the year and they are proper nouns. Good job. All right, so for October, it says, why do the animals start gathering in October? November says, how does the farmer prepare for the winter? And December says, how does the different seasons affect the animals? I look forward to seeing all of your um, answers to the diagram today on your portfolios, pioneers, and all of my other first graders that are tuning in. Um, you will upload yours to your portfolio as well. Hope y'all have a great weekend. Bye-bye. See you next week.